guitarist Derek Trucks grew up listening to B. B. King. Here, he pays tribute to the late blues legend. I woke up on the bus this morning and my wife, Susan Tedeschi, was playing B. B. King records up front. I looked up and we were passing the Indianola, Mississippi exit, driving to Jackson, and it was kind of too much to take. I had to put sunglasses on and just sit there and take it in. It definitely hit home harder than expected. We got into our hotel and the lady behind the desk said, he stayed here twice a year. I feel like I'm kind of walking the trail today. When B. B. King played, it was just the cold hard truth laughs. Like hearing Martin Luther King speak. You just needed one word, one note with B. B. No one has that. No one lived the life he lived. None of the quote unquote torchbearers have that history, that spirit. There's a bunch of people out here that are going to carry on the memory of it, but he did it. My good friend Call. Bruce Hampton said, B. B. Ain't coming back. He got it right this time. A lot of people might have to keep coming back to work it out, but B. B. Did it. He ain't coming back. He did what he was supposed to do. He left an amazing legacy and a bunch of disciples. It felt like as long as he was here, everything was okay. There's no John Coltrane, Ray Charles is gone, but B. B. S. still here. Everyone knew he was sick and the last few times we saw him, we knew he was getting to the end of the road. But it kind of feels like you lost your other father. He was all of our dads. Every guitar player I know, going back to Eric Clapton or Dickie Betts or any of the guys I looked up to, it's the same reverence from them to be. B. We're all his kids.